guys, what's up? Welcome back for another video. The day has finally come. Your girl cannot deal with the mess anymore. You see all this back here? I don't even wanna show you like what's behind there in the bathroom. I could barely walk on this floor, you know? It's been a hot mess for months if you follow me on Snapchat. Um, I've been telling you guys that I want to redo this room a little bit. If you've been following my channel for a hot minute, when I first moved into this condo, I was just so excited, like literally overwhelmed and so grateful to have this third room because I could never afford that before. So I really wanted to make a really pretty beauty room and hang up stuff on the wall, fill all the drawers with makeup, up and just go crazy right having the ultimate girl like glam room I feel like every girl grows up and wants that and I have definitely felt extremely appreciative in my business throughout the past few years like saving up money and finally being able to live you know in this complex was something I couldn't afford for so long so it's been a space that I've been very grateful for and I love this room but kind of as time has gone on my priorities and kind of what serves my lifestyle has really shifted I used to be so into makeup currently at the moment I feel that I am just so all about like the young girl boss entrepreneur lifestyle I'm super into like Tony Robbins Lewis Howes, Mel Robbins, inspirational stuff, inspirational quotes and books and magazines and growing my personal business like with my girl boss um, social media courses, my girl boss academy stuff and also my podcast that has been so much more of my main focus rather than just like my love for makeup which there's no shade there like I have so many YouTube friends who are like beauty gurus and they have rooms full of makeup and that's amazing if that's your passion but I feel like with me it's kind of just shifted over time so I recently donated about 70% of my makeup collection I gave so much to my mom I donated a bunch um, so I have really changed up kind of what this room looks like so in this video I'm gonna clean out, you know, all this crap. I'm gonna vacuum up and then I'm gonna give you guys a room tour in this video of kind of how things are looking right now. Um, hopefully I will have a new home around January so I won't be here for too long. But while I am still here, I wanna make sure that this room is very motivational and inspirational and when I'm in here, I'm just in the best mood and I'm able to create the best content for you guys. Um, and I just want it to be a very positive space, you know? I come in here and my stress and my anxiety and everything just goes away and it's a fun, like exciting room for me, if that makes sense. So I did switch up some of the decor. I still have a little bit of makeup, um, but I wanted to just give you guys a room tour because a lot of you have been asking for that. So I hope you'll enjoy that. I also have in this video a clothing haul. A lot of you have been asking on Instagram where my outfits have been from recently because I kind of been switching up my style a little bit. Like this is new. Um, a lot of my rompers and stuff have been from Boohoo. They sent me over a ton of clothing. So huge thank you to them. Um, a lot of stuff on their website right now is on sale and I do have an additional discount for you. I'll put my coupon code, whatever it is, like down below. Um, so thank you to Boohoo for sending me a ton of stuff. I actually uh, have been shopping on their site for like two plus years. They're one of the first like social media brands that I uh, have been a legit customer of so just to have them like reach out I'm always like so grateful so I'm gonna try on a bunch of stuff for you guys and then maybe we'll come back and um <laughs> does anyone else have like old um ringtones from like 2009 just me okay uh what was I saying oh we I also have a bunch of beauty favorites and stuff I want to chit chat with you guys about but I don't want this video to be super long so we might split it up into a few but I might just mash it all into one really long video here. So make sure you're subscribed. I appreciate you guys being here and let's just get into my room tour. All right, so the room is finally tidied up. I wanted to walk you guys kind of through a little tour. When you first open the door, I'll kind of like pan over here for you, but I wanted to kind of go into depth on what I've changed in this room. If you followed me for a minute, I've done maybe one or two other tours. Um, I wanted to put this here. Sorry, it's like in the middle right now, but I wanna make sure you guys get the most prime lighting. Actually walk over to this window. Kind of give you a little heads up here from this back wall where I have my vanity. I have actually given away, um, so if you've been on my channel for a while, I used to have two acrylic makeup um, storage containers right here. They looked exactly like this. I had these two here, and then if you came on the other side of the vanity, I had two more right here, which were all full of makeup, and every single drawer here was just packed to the brim with makeup. So in these drawers now, every single thing has been cleaned out. The only makeup that I still have left in my entire house, you guys, is this. I have one travel makeup bag, and then I have here just essential products that I know that I use, that I love. Um, I have some of my favorite lashes, which are from Icon, um, some backups of the foundation that I love, the Milani 2-in-1, and this is the CoverGirl Elixir, I believe. Some Makeup Forever foundation sticks, um, some powder, Maybelline Fit Me, that's my go-to. I also have some e.l.f. blushes. And then in this one, I literally just have lashes, um, some gloss, and that's it. These are the only palettes I kept as well. I probably donated like 30 makeup palettes, no joke. 
Um, a few things that I've kind of switched up in the room is I put some of my favorite like girl boss books up here. This book by Amy Schumer is hilarious. I got this little guy from Home Goods, I want to say. I finally put up my plaque from YouTube for 100,000. I might actually hang that on the wall in the new place, but for now I just kind of put it there. A lot of you ask about this sign as well. I believe he's from Home Goods, I want to say. And then I just pretty much have flowers like stacked everywhere throughout the room. Um, but a little change is I do come down here now to edit videos and to actually work, not just to do my makeup. So I did want to put my MacBook up. My keyboard is in here, it's wireless. So I'll just take that out and I'll set that right here. Um, and I will pull out my chair. I do have a chair right here that usually goes from that I usually sit here from Home Goods. Um, the cushion did get stained though, so that's being washed. But the desk is from Ikea. The top is called the Linman, and the bottom here, these are the Alex drawers. So if you've never like seen these before or you're not familiar, I can link those down below if you're interested. The marble paper here I got from Lowe's, I believe. Let me see if I stand on this side and give you guys a better angle. I believe the marble paper was from Lowe's. Um, I put that on the wall as soon as I first moved in. Um, these lights on this impressions vanity are always like super harsh. I think if I turn those off, yeah, I can actually give you guys a better view. So I just stuck on the marble paper. It was super, super easy. All the pictures here are either from Target or Home Goods. I wanted to do a bunch of different ones just with like silver and black theme and kind of angle them on different like angles on the wall just to make it a little bit creative. So this is just like my overall space where I do sit and work. I do my makeup as well, kind of come up with video ideas. I have my planner out right here. This is a mock of the planners that I'm going to be selling for you guys. And then just my daily organizational journal along with some other work stuff. Sometimes I'll just burn a candle. And then once you kind of move to the left of my whole like vanity situation, I've got the plain curtains there. I think I got those from Target. And then you guys have seen this. This is usually what you see in the background of my videos when I'm filming in this room. I kind of sit like right here and I do like my chit chats and stuff. Um, this is pretty much the same. I haven't really changed much. I think the cubby itself is from Ikea. I just go to like Marshalls and Home Goods and I pick out like really cute decor boxes and I'll pop those in the middle. But for Halloween, I did go ahead and recently just add a few things. Um, these flowers I've always had, I think they're just from Home Goods again, but I picked up like this little spooky clock the cat, we got the pumpkin, just a few cute like little sayings and stuff for Halloween. I'll try to like switch out the decor for every season, but usually these two flowers there will be there like all the time. I also get a lot of questions on this. This is probably the most expensive and heaviest piece of artwork I've ever had. I think, where did I get this one? I want to say maybe Home Goods as well, but this was like 275 bucks. It's super heavy. I can't even lift it. Um, up close in person, it's really pretty. Actually, it's kind of like reflective. I did have Chris hang this on the wall for me because it's really heavy. Um, but yeah, just like normal decor and stuff here. I do have a Bellamy box from a wig I bought. And then I just got this sign recently at Kirkland's. I thought it was really cute. Another flower. And then we do just move over here to my clothing rack. Um, I do have, I always have like the purse that I'm currently using at the moment. That's just a Michael Kors rose gold bag from Marshalls. I have usually just some like sports bras and hats and stuff like that. So this clothing rack specifically is all clothes for like Instagram, social media, when I'm filming videos. This is like my cute clothing rack. Ladies, you feel me? I don't necessarily wear all this stuff like out in public, but it's really cute outfits that I know I could just come down here when I'm ready to film, pick something out and like wear it for a video. Um, so I did mention I want to do a little try on haul. All of this stuff right here is from Boohoo. They sent me over, I want to say like 20 outfits, like super cute stuff. A lot of this stuff I've been wearing on Instagram. I actually just made a post with this dress the other day. Super cute, I think it was like 22 bucks. Like you can't beat it. And it's just really affordable if you want to like switch out your outfits a lot for date night or you are an influencer and you want to post like different outfits of the day but you don't want to break the bank. Um, I did want to try on a bunch of these items for you guys. A lot of the stuff they have on the site right now is on sale. So many of you guys have been asking about a lot of these outfits recently on my Instagram or Snapchat, so I wanted to try on a few pieces for you. I ordered mostly everything in a size 8 or a size 10. Um, this red dress here was definitely one of my favorites. It's super cute. You just tie it up in a bow here in the front. I did have this certain bra on um, because I'm going to be trying on a bunch of rompers, but I would recommend a strapless bra with that one. Um, this next black dress is one of my favorites. It's so, so cute for date night just with the buttons going up. It's super comfortable. Um, I did go ahead and get this brown cardigan from Boohoo as well. And then I also got this next one you're going to see, which is a black cardigan. A lot of you ask what I wear over my strapless dresses and strapless tops, and I always like to throw a little cardigan on. You can wear it up on your shoulders or down like this, kind of by your waist. Um, all the cardigans I get are like under 10 bucks. They're all from Boohoo. Um, so I thought that one just went really well with the black dress. 
This outfit was one of my favorites as well, this yellow romper, super cute for summer. It was really short though, so if you're taller, um, you might want to like wrap something around your waist. And then this one here I just posted on Instagram yesterday. This is probably my favorite outfit I ordered from them. So, so pretty for summer. Um, again, you could put like a black cardigan over, you could put black heels, this would be cute for date night. I love like the v-neck, the plunge in the front, and kind of how it comes into like a little skirt with like a V at the bottom. I think it's so cute, you guys gave me so many compliments on this yesterday when I made the post on Instagram, and again, it's super affordable. Um, another dress I chose for date night, which I thought would be cute, was this um, dark maroon dress. I was just kind of gathering the fabric and showing you there that this was actually too big on me. So I'll kind of have to get it taken in. Um, but it was really pretty, again, with like heels for a date night or something. And then the last one I ordered was this maxi dress. It was super form-fitting and really thin. Very, very comfortable. You guys know I love floral patterns. So I'm gonna have every single romper and dress and outfit that I showed in this video linked down below individually for you guys. So go ahead and check that out. So much stuff on Boohoo is on sale right now. Like I said, it's super affordable so you can just kind of change out your outfits a lot without breaking the bank. Um, thank you to Boohoo for sending me the care package. It's very, very appreciated. Definitely check the description box for all the information and let's get back to my room tour. So moving on to the right, I usually have all of my lighting right here. Um, I have that light, this box light, a ring light, another one of those. Usually they're all just kind of stacked up right here. Um, and then I have this little table which I usually pull out in the middle of the room here and I'll kind of set my camera on this and then I will film right here. So this is kind of what you guys see whenever I'm doing my chit chats. So this is nothing special, I just kind of have it propped up over here for now. But I did hang up a few bags on the wall. I just use these regular like plastic command hooks. Um, I just wanted somewhere to store some of my extra bags. This is like a little backpack from BB. This one, I think it's just like Forever 21. Michael Kors backpack. I need to put one more hook right there, so I have four of them and it's like even. But yeah, those are the hooks on that wall. So if I step back here, we've got that back wall, the clothing rack, and then this is pretty much a full like pan of the room. Um, I do have a closet here, which we won't get into because it's really messy. It's just like a bunch of backdrops and clips and stuff like that for filming. But yeah, if I kind of come over here, that's pretty much like a full overview of the room. So I will have everything linked down below that I can find if you're interested in the desk or in the makeup organization or any of my decor or anything like that. Um, definitely check the bottom bar and I will have all that stuff linked down there for you guys. Oh my God, you guys, your girl is sweating from trying on all those outfits. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm pretty sure with my chit chat, try on everything, it's already a long video, but stay tuned, be sure you're subscribed because I do wanna do a sit down pretty soon about some current beauty favorites because I feel like I have a lot of new things that I've been in love with that I do wanna share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that little room tour and everything. Whatever I mentioned in today's video will obviously be linked below. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and being here. I hope you'll subscribe. And I think that's it. Leave any uh, future video requests down below. Have an incredible rest of the week and I'll see you guys in the next one.